Done cutting up the tomatoes. Okay, now we're going to add the tomatoes to the cooked veggies. Fresh tomatoes. And then you cook that up. You stir all that up. Get that cooking a little bit. Huh, you want to see it? Come on over here and look. See, now smell, smell. Smell it. Mmm. We put the basil in. Well, no, give me the fresh basil by the peppers, bub bub. Fresh basil, smell it. Mmm, come on, bring it over here. Here, hold the camera. Record, Grandma. Record while Grandma chops up, put some fresh basil in there. Mmm, give it some flavor. <laughs> Mmm, spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then we just put a little bit of that in there because we got Italian season and oregano already in there. Okay, Bob. Rice. Put the rice in. And then we're going to mix the rice up. It's time for you to go. But when we get done, tell everybody bye. Thank you for being my shoe chef. Wave it, Momo. Bye, everybody. Say thanks for coming to our blog. So we get this all, this, oh, there goes the dogs. There's my granddaughter, my handsome son. Say, we're listening to some Italian music and making stuffed peppers. Yeah. Mm hmm That's good. Want some orange apple juice, baby? Mm hmm Oh, apple juice. <laughs> Say, this is our favorite. It's called Cotton Candy Grape. Juice cocktail. Mm-hmm. You going over there with Papa? Papa, Papa we need the cheese. What? We need some cheese, Papa. And we got some mozzarella and grated cheese that we're going to add to this. And then we're going to add the rest of it to the top. Thank you, Papa. And we mix all yeah. that into the stuffing. And then I'm going to take this off. Then I'm going to cook up the hamburger. And then we're going to add the hamburger in it. And we're going to stuff the peppers. Hi, they're off with Papa. Okay. Two tablespoons. In the hamburger, fresh hamburger. And then we're going to cut that hamburger up. Look over my dishes. And this is, I'll tell you, if you've ever... Had a tool in the kitchen that's amazing. It's this little thing. It's awesome to chop your hamburgers up. And we're going to cook up the hamburger. With a little bit of salt and pepper. Here, I got my rooster since I got my kitchen done in roosters. Just a couple days away from fall and our weather is already getting cool. As you can see. And I got some fall stuff up. I just got me a new um, pumpkin to hold my thing in. But once you cook this up, then you'll add that to the mixture and the hamburger and stuff. I'll mix it together. And then we're going to stuff our peppers that we got over here. But we're going to take some olive oil. Now, if you go to cook this in the crock pot, you don't have to... I usually put a little oil in my crock pot and I take some of the basil and I drop it between all the peppers but you do not have to oil your peppers when you put them in the crock pot because they'll steam and you usually put in the crock pot for four hours on high or six hours on low but we're gonna cook these in the oven tonight in a cat uh, a regular oven and at 375 and you cover them for about a half an hour and then you uncover them for 15 minutes to a half an hour, depending on, I've got smaller peppers than usual, but I'm going to oil, olive oil, all these peppers because I'm putting them in the oven and it helps them to cook better in the oven. But if I'm cooking them in the crock pot, I will not oil them. And then we're gonna make a um, little sauce. We're gonna put a little bit of basil in it, a little bit of um, oregano and some parsley and just mix that up and then we're going to put them on top of the peppers um, and you'll see that here in just a few minutes me cooking with my grandkids hey what are you doing in here you ain't supposed to be he's like it smells good get off get down max come on 
you then I just like mama mommy I want to be in the kitchen <laughs> uh. and this is what I did with the peppers mm -hmm. olive oil you just oil your peppers before you stuff them With all your peppers, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, and if y'all notice, I may have the phone turned this way or stuck that way. That's because I'm filming this by myself. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard when you ain't got someone to hold the camera. So anyway. All right, now, down dogs. My dogs, I raised them on vegetables, so they're eating all the extra vegetables and tomatoes. They can't help it, they eat lettuce. So you mix this up and you get the stuffing ready. Just brought this yellow tomato out. I think I wanna add it to the stuffing. A little bit extra tomato, don't hurt nothing. Bella Notte. Max, or Shirley, get down. I'm practically tearing up this beautiful tomato. Oh, I love color. You know when you're eating healthy, a lot of people say Italian food ain't healthy. Well, stuffed peppers is, eh, I don't know. It's a little Italian. But anyway, fresh out of the garden, you can't go wrong at all. And I like, I didn't have a lot of white onions, so I actually got some chives. I like, we like chives in our family. Mm. Bella noche. Mm. Mm. Y'all all remember Tramp? from the movie <clears throat> with the dogs this is the song was playing when they were eating the spaghetti and the meatball <laughs> ah why not one more basil right ah smells delicious ah, it looks so good Oh, see, more color. Beautiful. 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 There's the stuffing, and we're going to stuff those babies. Let's add a little bit more cheese. Can't go wrong with more cheese, right? Noche. Mwah. Okay, then you turn your oven on. 375. And I've got most of the peppers stuffed. I didn't have enough. These are all peppers from the garden. And you just, like I said, you take your stuffing. My hands are clean. And you just get all that good yummy in there. See that? Oi! Oi, oi, oi. Okay, now I'm going to make a dressing. Got a little bit of tomatoes, canned tomatoes, some roasted tomatoes. got some salt and pepper we want to put um where's my towel a little salt salt on them too salt pepper. and uh then you mix that up i ha i usually put fresh basil in it too as well or fresh parsley but I'm gonna hold on. Okay, I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Now, I like to drizzle a little oil. Just a little oil on them. So I'm gonna cover them up. And then we're gonna just put a little bit of tomato on these. And like I said, I like to add a little bit more cheese. Hmm. Okay. 
it's in his bag. And then that, and then you take some foil and you wrap it for 30 minutes and you put it on in the oven for 375 for half an hour. And then you uncover it for 15, 30 minutes more. Since I have probably lots of peppers, it'll probably be a whole hour for all that. And then you feast hmm? with some garlic bread or something. And that is Mama's stuffed peppers. Enjoy, everyone. Okay. They're all covered up. Oven's preheated. Okay. Stuff out the way. Good doggies. Forgot to take the bottom rack, top rack down. Ah, I lost it now. And now when it goes, 375 for 30 minutes. So we set our timer. Where's our kitchen? Timer, cook timer. 30 minutes. And we go. And I'll show you the um, ending. Salute. cotton candy fruit cocktail because I don't drink anymore been delivered saved and set free from the Lord but I can still cook a mean cook did y'all like my shoe chef this is my grandkids this is my dude new kitchen this is my background of my grandchildren we have background this is my mother-in-law's kitchen she's passed away my kids when they were little Jesse this is me and my family, my son, Jesse. These are my kids. Look, there's my Sabrina and my Jesse. These kids are all grown up. Oh, there's me at a young age, y'all. <laughs> young as can be. And there's me and my hubby when we met. Almost 30 years. And there's a picture of me in a size two. And I love what my kitchen says. It says where Obviously, it's the world's most perfect mothers. Yeah. And here's my fall bucket list and stuff. I never thought I'd have a kitchen with roosters in it. But since we moved into this house and redid it, got my new stove and stuff. Anyway, now it's time for cleanup. You do all this clean up and then you sit at the kitchen family table and eat when you're done. <laughs> like I said, salute! I done drank my drink. You wanna dance, Max? Hey, Mumbo. Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh, my Marty will dance with me. Yeah, I got seven dash arms. <laughs> hey, Mumbo. They love it. They smell of Mama's cooking. <laughs> well, this is the outcome. But I'm going to do a little something special. I'm going to put mozzarella, provolone, not just mozzarella, I'm going to put some provolone on them. One more way. Put it back in the oven and let it melt. And then you get your glass ready. 
And you clean off the table. And I've already done that. Oh, and that basil. Ah, smells good every time. And you get it ready. And you set the table. And I'm using paper plates. I got that baby on the roll. Italian peppers. Mm. Now it's time to grab in and say grace. Hallelujah. Everybody enjoy their dinner. Get your cheese, salt and pepper, and have your drink. And grab your pepper and get out the good dishes, not the paper plates. Oh, the dishes are out. Thanks for coming and joining me for my blog. I haven't done one in a long time. Maybe I need to make a blog just for me and my grandson. Grandkids. Bye everybody. Salute. Salute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum.